I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. Okay, so let's talk about this video because Shermino Boychinoy is getting the Brie Larson treatment. People are taking her interviews from eight years ago and playing it out of context to make it look like she's trying to make the Star Wars movie woke. So Star Wars fans always talk about the Panderverse and this woman in this video is doing the exact same thing. She's pandering to a male conservative fragile audience. So this interview was taken eight years ago at a women's conference and Shermina is talking about her movie that she made about honor killing and acid attacks in Pakistan. So the men that she's talking about are Pakistani men who are upset that these kinds of movies and videos tarnishes the image of Pakistan. That's the uncomfortable men she's talking about. This has nothing to do with Star Wars. Now I know this woman reacting to the video doesn't give a shit about brown men. Because when it's about war and brown men are literally dying by the thousands and digging children from rubble with their bare hands, no one gives a shit about them. She doesn't give a shit about them. But when it's a feminist woman making a comment like this, suddenly she cares. Suddenly she's making these disgusting faces. The fact that you're sitting there making these faces at a video you know is about honor killing and acid throwing. You sat there and made these faces at her. Because you know the people in your comments are stupid and they're going to think that it's relevant to Star Wars. In fact, there's even articles picking this up as early as January 3rd, but they're still referencing the unearthed clip from eight years ago. So it's not a new article. It's not something she said recently. So if anyone is disgusted by her comments, that means you want to be comfortable with women being unalive and disfigured. That's what you're saying. Or you didn't know that you were duped by the internet. Now, I'm not here to talk about whether she's qualified or not. That's a different story altogether. But don't equate a humanitarian crisis to a fucking kids movie. Be fucking for real. She's not even the writer of this movie. That's Stephen Knight, who is the writer of Peaky Blinders. He wrote the movie centered around Ray. So yes, she's right. They are centering a whole new saga around Ray. Now, that doesn't discount any of the other women that have been in Star Wars, but an entire saga has not been centered around them. Also, none of the new Star Wars movies are woke. A New Hope is the same thing as A Force Awakens. It's the same damn movie. They just put a black guy and a woman and a ugly, handsome, tall white man in it. That's it. Actual Star Wars woke content is actually Andor, which actually talks about fascism, authoritarian rule. It talks about prison industrial complex. It talks about accelerationism, terrorism, revolution, resistance, propaganda. Like, that's, that's the actual woke Star Wars. Woke isn't adding people of color to your favorite IP. That's just updating the times to the current demographic. That's all that is. And it's okay. It's okay to say, hey, I've been duped by the internet. I was too. I believe all the Brie Larson crap when it came out and found out that it was all fake. Like, don't let people gaslight the internet. 